And here we go. This tag team match is going to be heated, to say the least. Uh-oh, he's got him set up here. Looking for the suplex. You've got to believe this one's over. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. A maneuver like that is a great way to turn the tables. Lariat. Bringing it back into the ring. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Ooh, big backdrop. Ooh. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Harsh impact. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. Using the elbow as a weapon. No, breakneck speed, one of her corrupt. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination. Looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage and that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots. But I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever. And what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record-setting 483 days. And a kick out, much to nobody's surprise. Oh, wow. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed, and over time they develop and bond and oh. become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top ten. Submission move coming up. Byron Cap pressures in. Cinched in, nowhere to go. But he's got to capitalize now. Let me tell you, that can cause some serious injury. But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus. He might have it. He's making a statement here with this attack. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, what impact. Wicked clothesline into a sidewalk slam. Wow. Awesome. What a stop. He's going for the pin. Irish whip. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. It's going to take more than that. Elbow drop. Piercing. What a stop. Good grief. This might be it. Oh, my face. First. Boom. German suplex. Uh-oh. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday night. He wants it one more time. Look at it. Nothing quite like the phenomenal 
elbow forearm. Just when you thought he had nothing left, his shoulders are down. Boom! <laughs> Got the leg. Bang and screw. That'll tear your knee up. The two out of three falls matches saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus. It was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a bro kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme. But the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. Boom, what impact! Elbow drop, big time! Looks like a beautiful technique. I'm not sure how much he has left. Oh boy, he is rolling. Big time impact from way up high. Submission move coming up. Working on the leg. Can he finish the job? That's one of the more impressive submissions in today's sports entertainment. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's looking at it. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Up. <laughs> but he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Uh, setting him up in position here on the set. Tornado oh. DDT. Viking DDT. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar, this is it. Here he goes. There's no way he's giving up now. Oh, and he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. He's too quick for him there. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, clothesline! What a clothesline! Ouch! Running knee strike! Oh, my goodness! Jam your leg in a bad way. This might be it! Oh, my! Beautiful technique. He looks a bit off his game here. Heading into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposite. Damn, Samoan driver! What a comeback! We got a cover! One, two, two count, and a kick out! You have to put in a little more work than that. That kick will stop you in your tracks. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Got every out. Nice down kick. Great elevation. I'm not sure how much he has left. Here he comes. Is it nailed it? Gets the tag. Oh, and it's Seguri. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. He may very well be on Dream Street right now, guys. What a stomp! Good. Grief. Harsh impact. No reverses it. You gotta believe this one's over. Tagged in. Attack 
Kicking the back. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Across the shoulders. Oh, nasty impact. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. If at first you don't succeed, he thinks he has it. Two, three. They got it. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. Look at him go. This was another great moment. He ain't playing here. I really enjoyed every minute of this. Here are your winners. Isaiah Cassidy and Mark Quinn. That's a big win, although there was a moment there where I thought it was going to go the other way. When you put these two together, victory is really the only plausible outcome. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much.